Hi hi, it is Jo from Minerva and today we're going to do a super quick tutorial on how to use a twin needle when you want to finish off the neckline, sleeves or hems of your stretch jersey items. If you've been making your first stretch items, you might just have been turning your neckband down and adding a row of zigzag maybe, or a lightning stitch, or as just a very narrow stretch stitch. But if you want to really elevate your sewing to the next level, then you can use a twin needle to make a really professional finish. It makes a great finish on the inside as well. So if you don't have an overlocker, it really does um, zigzag the back of your sewing. So you get a twin needle finish on the outside, but on the inside, you get a sort of cover stitch finish, which holds down all of your seam allowances. It's useful for the neckline, obviously, but you can also match that technique with your sleeve finish and your hem finish. You can also sort of mix up your thread so you can put two different colours of thread in and you can get a sort of shadow look on your twin needle sewing or you can use the same threads on the two runs of stitching. Okay, let's have a look how to set up. Um, first of all, you'll need to um, thread up a bobbin so you can make that a colour that's going to be on the inside. You will also need um, a second spool holder. So have a look in your sewing machine um, little pouch or kit and see if you have a, a second thread holder. This one goes on my bobbin, so it's got a little sort of uh, casing that fits on top of my bobbin winder, but yours might just be a simple little stick that goes into a hole in the top of your machine. So you might need to get out your sewing machine manual. Once you've threaded up a bobbin, you can put that in the base because we're not going to change anything about the bobbin, that's just normal. You've got your thread in on the spool holder and then you're going to add your second spool holder. Mine goes there on the bobbin winder, but you might find there's a little hole in the top here that it fits down. If you've lost yours, um, you can check out a sewing machine spares online or your local shop and you can go and buy one of those, they're really cheap. Um, and if you've lost it, you can get another one and then you're ready to do some twin needle sewing. I'm going to add a second spool, but this time I'm going to make it a different colour so that you can see um, where I'm working with the two threads. And it follows the same path as my previous thread. So at the bottom, I'll have my bobbin thread and my brick coloured thread and my brown thread. Next, I'm just going to remove my foot so that it's easy for you to see. We're going to add our twin needle. And twin needles have um, a distance between them which you can get um, in different widths. I've got a twin stretch as well because I'm using a stretch fabric. You don't have to use twin needle sewing just on stretch. You can use it on denim items as well, cotton items. Once you once you do it and realise how easy it is, you might do it on lots of different things. Okay, let's take out the previous needle. And we're going to put the twin needle in. So the same as when you normally attach a needle, you've got a flat edge and a round edge. You need to feel where that is. And the flat side goes at the back. Make sure it's in securely and then you can thread up your machine. Check your manual but on mine, my main thread goes through the right hand needle and my new spool, my second thread, goes through the left hand needle. Now, now I normally use my needle threader but I can't do that with a twin needle so I'm having to hand thread them. And they're quite delicate twin needles, so don't pull on them too much. If I just show you, I've got a bit of white paper behind. They do, they do pull a little bit, so just be a little bit delicate with them. And your threads need to go to the back, and I can put the foot back on. My foot is back on. And the first thing I need to do is to check that I've got clearance. 
So I might have had my machine on a zigzag previously or on a different stitch length. So I don't want to just start putting my foot on the foot pedal. I need to make sure just by turning the hand wheel that everything is operating nicely and my threads are coming out of the back. Before you try this on your actual garment, you need to try it on a test piece just to check that everything is working well. I'm going to make my stitch length a little bit longer because I want the neck to be stretchy. Check my clearance and I'm ready to sew. I'm still getting stretched so my t-shirt will go over my head. I've got two different colours there and it does create a sort of shadow because the, the dark thread on the top creates a sort of shadow line and then I get the second colour along the bottom but you can put two colours in that's fine and that is how you put on your twin needle. Let's have a go on our actual garment. You always need to sew from the right side because the wrong side has a sort of zigzag finish. So don't try and sew it from the wrong side and think, oh, I want to check that I'm catching all the seam allowance. You need to sew it from the right side and just ensure that all your seam allowance is lying flat. I like to start at the shoulder seam. And if I've got lots of bulk on the corners there, this T-shirt has a stabilised shoulder seam with a little bit of elastic in so I'm just going to take a little bit of that bulk out there so that my needle goes smoothly over the seams. I'm going to remove the front plate of my machine. Position really carefully because you want the stitching to join up when you get back round to the other side. Just going to hand position the needles and start to sew. Go really nice and slowly. There's no point going fast. This is the finishing of your t-shirt. So just really gently let the machine do its stitch. You can be feeling with your fingers to check that the seam allowance is lying flat underneath. When you get back to the beginning, just go slowly again. I've just trimmed off my top threads because I don't want those to all get chewed in because I want the stitches to join on as smoothly as I can to the previous channel of stitching where I started. Even now, when you're pulling your fabric out, just be careful because those needles are really delicate. You don't want to be pulling your work and breaking the needles. You just have to be a little more gentle than normal. So here's our twin needle finish. Looks beautiful. And I always used to skip it because I used to think, oh, I don't want to just thread all the needles up again. But it really does make... A really professional neckline. On the inside if you don't have an overlocker it does finish the neckline off nicely. If you've got a little bit of seam allowance there you can trim that out back to the stitch line but you're going to need to be again really slow really careful and have very small scissors. So you can take that seam allowance down and then it's really neat inside. In fact an, an overlocker is no better a finish than um, this twin needle finish. And that's how you finish off your necklines. It's the same for um, your sleeve opening so if you want to put the twin needle on the sleeve edge you can do that as well. You might find that if you put a little bit of very light interfacing in the hemline of your t-shirt it'll give it a really crisp edge and the top stitching so it will stop the fabric from curling up. I'm going to twin needle the edge of this sleeve. This is on the Rowan bodysuit, it's a sort of t-shirt top. 
it's a top with negative ease so I want to make sure that the sleeves are still stretchy because they will need to go around my bicep so just inside the turnover for the hem I've put some hem band which is a really fine webbing it still means the t-shirt is stretchy but it stabilizes it while I put the twin needle on I'm going to put this through the machine I'll have the twin needle on the top and the zigzag stitch on the back as we saw with the neck. So there it is sewn. It's still stretchy. I've got my twin needle which matches my twin needle on the neckline and I could also do that finish on the hem as well. Um, this is a bodysuit so I don't have a hem but you can match up your top stitching throughout. I hope that's given you a little bit of confidence to try that. Um, it does mean just at the end of your sewing where you want to sort of finish, you've just got to sort of slow down, change your needle and add your second thread. But it's really worth it because it really does make a great T-shirt and it lasts a little bit longer because it's got the two rows of stitching. If you have been sewing lately, we would love to see what you have made. So uh, make a free account with us, share your makes and we would love to see what you have been up to. Thanks very much for watching. Do call again soon.